Hello everyone and welcome to part four of this Daniel Smith's watching series uh, where we'll be taking a look at all the blue and turquoise watercolors. So first up we have Kyanite Genuine. Uh, this is a Primatech paint so it doesn't have any pigment information. Yeah, I like the granulation, plus it re-wets really easily, so that's good. And next we have Indigo. And this is made from PB60 and PBK6. This seems like a really dark Indigo. Yeah, I like it. And next we have Thalo Blue Turquoise. And this is made from PB16. I wasn't expecting this one to be at this point in the swatch card, but I guess that's where Daniel Smith put it. Yeah, it's quite a nice color. What do you think? And next we have Indanthrone Blue, and this one's made from PB60. Yeah, I think this is a really nice PB60. I should probably make a comparison video with the other brands I have. And next we have Sodalite Genuine. Uh, this one's another Primatech, so again, no other pigment info. Yeah, again, it's a really beautiful paint. I love the granulation. Uh, next is Lapis Lazuli Genuine. And again, this is another Primatech. Now I had read that this one is a pretty weak paint, but yeah, I wasn't quite expecting it to be this week. Yeah, I think I'd be seriously disappointed if I had paid Daniel Smith prices for this paint. I mean, I understand that some more delicate paints can be very beautiful, but yeah, this one's a bit ridiculous. And now we have Ultramarine Blue, and this one's made from PB29. Yeah, it looks like a great Ultramarine to me. I had heard some people say that this one can be difficult to re-wet, but yeah, I didn't have any problems from the dot card. And next we have French Ultramarine. And again, this one's also PB29. Yeah, this one was easy to re-wet as well. Yeah, I think it's a really good French Ultramarine. Though I don't think it's quite as red leaning as some other brands I've tried. And finally on this first row we have Cobalt Blue and it's made from PB28. Yeah, it looks like a good strong Cobalt Blue. Very nice. So now moving on to the second row with Thalo Blue Green Shade. And it's made from PB153. Yeah, even for Thalo Blue, this seems really strong. 
I don't think it's quite as green leaning as some other brands I've tried as well. Yeah, I really like it. And next we have Verdita Blue. And this is made from PB28, PB36 and PW4. Yeah, it's a really nice blue. It's kind of somewhere between a cobalt and a thalo. Yeah, and some really nice granulation as well. And next we have lavender. And it's made from PW6, PV15 and PB29. Yeah, it looks like a good lavender to me. It granulates quite a bit more than some others I've tried as well. And next we have Thalo Blue Red Shade. And this is made from PB156. Yeah, again, it's a really strong Thalo Blue. Yeah, I really do like this one. So next up is Prussian Blue. And this one's made from PB27. Yeah, it looks like a really good Prussian Blue to me. Um, I'm going to have to check its light fastness though. And next we have Mayan Blue. Uh, which is another Prima Tech paint, so no pigment info. Now this is a paint that I've read is not light fast. Um, yeah, I don't particularly like the color either. And next we have Cerulean Blue, and this one's PB35. I don't usually like PB35 Cerulean Blues, but yeah, this one's actually quite nice. Seems a bit cleaner than most other brands I've tried. And next up is Cerulean Blue Chromium, and it's made from PB36. Yeah, this is a really lovely paint. I think I much prefer the PB36 for my Cerulean. And finally on this row we have Manganese Blue Hue, and it's made from PB15. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about this paint, and yeah, I agree, it's very nice. It's a nice granulating, cool turquoise blue colour. And now onto the next row with Cobalt Teal Blue. And it's made from PG50. Yeah, another paint I've heard good things about. Yeah, and again, I have to agree, it's a really nice color. Next is Fusite Genuine. And this is another Primatech paint, so again, no, no pigment information. Yeah, it looks like quite a nice delicate almost pastel green it's not my kind of thing but yeah i'm sure it has its uses and next we have thalo turquoise this one's made from pb156 and pg36 sorry pb153 and pg36 yeah this is a really strong paint yeah, it's a very, yeah, 
kind of a bit overpowering, I'd say, but quite nice. And next we have Ultramarine Turquoise. And this one's made from PB29 and PG7. I wasn't really expecting all that much from this one, but I do actually quite like it. It's not as overpowering as the Thalo Turquoise before it. It doesn't granulate as much as I thought it might though. And next up is Cobalt Turquoise. And this one's made from PB36. Yeah, quite a nice Cobalt Turquoise with lots of granulation. I definitely prefer the Cobalt Teal Blue though to this one. And next we have Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. And this is another Prima Tech paint, so no pigment info. Um, I believe this was one of the paints that was analyzed by World Pigment Day on Instagram, and it was found to contain PB28, which is a cobalt pigment. Um, yeah, but whatever it has in it, it is a very pretty turquoise. And next we have Amazonite Genuine. Which is another Primatech. So I think this one was also analyzed by World Pigment Day and it was found to contain quite a bit of phthalo green. But yeah, again, it's a very nice color. And next we have Blue Appetite Genuine, which is yet another Primatech paint. Yeah, this one's really nice. It's kind of like a heavily granulating indigo-like color. Yeah, I really like it. And finally, we have Lunar Blue. And it's made from PBK11 and PB15. Yeah, it's another beautiful, heavily granulating paint. Yeah, I really like this one too. Okay, then that's all of them painted out. And here they are when completely dry. Yeah, I'd say Daniel Smith have a pretty impressive range of blue and turquoise paints here. Uh, the only real disappointment to me is the lapis lazuli. I mean, it's, it's just so weak. Yeah, let me know what you think about these paints in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and an extra big thank you to the kind subscriber who sent me this dot card. I'll speak to you all in the next video. Bye-bye.